Anton Pavlovich Chekhov was a Russian playwright, short story writer, and physician, born on January 29, 1860, in Taganrog, Russia. He was the third of six children and grew up in a lower middle class family. Chekhov's father, Pavel, was a grocer and had a drinking problem, which often left the family in financial difficulty. Despite this, Chekhov was able to attend school and, after graduating, he moved to Moscow to attend university, where he studied medicine. While studying, Chekhov began to publish his writing in magazines, and in 1880 he graduated from university and began practicing as a doctor. However, writing remained his true passion, and he continued to write stories and plays in his spare time. In 1884, Chekhov's first collection of stories, Motley Stories, was published, followed by In Twilight in 1887. These early works were well received by critics, but it was his play Ivanov, which premiered in 1887, that brought him national attention. Over the next two decades, Chekhov wrote some of his most famous works, including The Seagull, 1896, Uncle Vanya, 1899, and The Cherry Orchard, 1904. These plays were noted for their naturalistic dialogue, complex characters, and themes of human suffering and moral responsibility. In addition to his plays, Chekhov continued to write short stories, which often dealt with the same themes as his plays. His most famous stories include The Lady with the Dog and the Bet. Despite his literary success, Chekhov continued to practice medicine, and in 1892 he traveled to the prison island of Sakhalin to conduct a census of the prisoners and investigate their living conditions. This experience had a profound effect on Chekhov and inspired him to write his book The Island of Sakhalin, which is a detailed account of his observations and experiences. Chekhov's health began to deteriorate in the late 1890s, and in 1901 he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. He continued to write and travel, but his health continued to decline, and he eventually moved to a health resort in Germany, where he died on July 15, 1904, at the age of 44. Chekhov's legacy as one of the most important Russian writers of the 19th and early 20th centuries has continued to grow in the years since his death. His plays and stories remain popular and are still studied in schools and universities around the world. He is remembered for his ability to capture the complexities of human nature and for his contributions to the development of modern theater.